I've been watching uh, videos on DMT. You know, Jeff Rogan. Uh, uh, Shaman Oaks. <laughs> Shaman Oaks, yeah. Uh, and uh, some British guy. Uh, talking about their experiences with DMT. Plus, you know, McKenna. Uh, Terrence. Terrence McKenna. And um, it seems more and more apparent to me that uh, DMT it's not a spirit molecule, it's a dream molecule. It makes you dream. And the more you take, the more intent, the more intense it is. Because, for one thing, you just, like a dream, you don't remember it. Unless you write it down. You know? It starts disappearing like a dream. And it's like, God. So you go through this intense, amazing thing. And uh, you see gnomes. And elves. Uh, mechanical elves. Uh, machine elves, as they call them. Yeah. And... Um, The reason why I think it's probably a dream and not something, you know, is because it sounds like if you're bl born blind, you don't experience this stuff. I would like to know if a blind person really you know I don't know if there's a one that was uh, someone born blind would take this drug and see if they really can see something because it sounds like if they're on LSD they don't see anything and uh, <clears throat> now if a blind person took DMT I haven't found one yet but if a blind person born blind yeah took DMT, would he or she see the elves and the gnomes? If he did, it could describe movement and beards and little hats and stuff looking like something out of uh, uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. That would, I mean, I, 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 if they can describe that, you know, if they felt someone with a beard and stuff, said, oh, it looked like they had beard and stuff like that, or, yeah, that would seem to prove that it's more than just a dream thing, you know. So, yeah, that's my take on it. But right now, from what I can understand, if a uh, person born blind takes a psychedelic, they don't have, they don't see those visual things like uh, we do if we took it. But 